Pioneer Easy Bus Company entered into Kampala's chaotic public transport scene in March 2012 following commuter taxi strike after government asked the company to jump in to close the transport gap. Subsequently, controversy arose on the nature of company's contract with Kampala Capital City Authority. Besides, KCCA complained that Pioneer owed it over 3 billion shillings in license fees. Into the recommendations that have been made by members of parliament, and uh, once we are done with going through that, we shall move and uh, give guidance on, on the way forward. Now, an urban development and planning consultant urges that the odds were stacked against Pioneer so much that is a miracle they survived for nearly a year on the road. At the time Pioneer began work, inflation was at a record high and bank interest rates were high as well. Yes, the company took a loan. Dr. Min Tamale Chugundu says this is the source of company's troubles. In a way, Pioneer Bus and other bus companies have been hit by this problem. Government need to improve the way the economy is being managed. There is no clear policy. And the policy is supposed to guide the investors in this in this area. On Monday, Uganda Revenue Authority gave Pioneer until 27th February to clear its outstanding tax obligation of 8 billion shillings in customs tax or else lose the impounded 100 buses in the public auction. But Dr. Chigundu is asking URA to reconsider this drastic move. Since public transport is a critical public good, that should not be provided with a profit motive and is the best by the state. He calls for incentives to investors like Pioneer. We actually need uh, uh, a regulatory authority for public transport in Kampala, which is manned by, by people of skill and power, just like KCCA has been transformed. Dr. Chigundu, who has done a lot of research on Kampala's urban challenges, says 50% of the city's residents walk to work from their homes daily and therefore don't use any public or private means of transport. 20% use private cars and the remaining 30% use public transport like border border and the commuter taxis. So a privately owned bus company like Pioneer has to operate in this restrictive market, exposing them to many costs and the risks. A way of promoting public transport, I think it is important that these low capacity systems like minibuses, like uh, border borders are phased out and may be allowed to complement the services of public transport. He therefore urges that the owners of Pioneer Easy Bus should have easily seen the inevitable downfall coming and potential investors should learn from this. We need a, a transport policy and maybe within KCC they need to set up uh, a directorate for public transport management. Nabakozali Dia, NBS Television, Business.